This is the last of the screencasts uh, for the course. There are five of them, and they're all posted on the content uh, presentation video page, as well as on the page that um, where they are related to the assignment. And so, um, what this kind this screencast will try to do is uh, present a model of how, a flexible model of how you can implement blended learning uh, for any class. And we start out by um, the initial class um, meeting of any year, like the first day of school or second day of school, this can stretch into any, and it's flexible, it can stretch into any number of days you want, but um, you need to demonstrate the learning management system, in our case it's Haiku, what tools will they need? That is, they'll need a computer or an iPad, at the least, and um, something at home for internet access. You need to discuss how you're going to grade activities that they do online, such as um, discussion posts, submission of assignments. You can show them the Dropbox uh, quizzes that you might uh, create in Haiku. Um, What's expected in discussion posts, uh, how you will use if you present video content online, uh, such as screencasts, you will want to have pre-quizzes associated with those videos, and so you will uh, maybe demonstrate this, and that these pre-quizzes will also be graded. And so you spend quite a bit of time discussing your model for how you're going to um, teach the course, how blended learning is going to be the model for your course. You, um, you use um, the LMS, the learning management system, uh, to display grades. If you use a grade book that's in Haiku, you don't need to do that. Um, you discuss uh, the general conduct online, and you try to build community in your class. And there's also uh, what you do in this first uh, in this first class meeting is you present to them the contract, which I showed in a previous video, which is posted in the Haiku um, class for this for the blended learning course that we're doing now. That would uh, be sort of the first assignment that they will post. Um, you will post that. You will ask them to sign it and to submit it to you as a record of their understanding of the guidelines for the course. And so when you redesign your unit, this, this is related to uh, assignment uh, two, which is the redesign of a unit for blended learning. You think in terms of what's going to be done by the teacher and what is going to be done uh, by the student, and what's going to be done online, and what's going to be face-to-face. -face. So the teacher's role, what are you going to do online? What are you going to present? You're going to give instructions of some sort. Um, what are you going to do for that unit when you meet face-to-face? -face? What is the student going to do online? What are the activities they're going to do? And what are they going to do when you meet face to face. And so you need to, in your planning, think in terms of your role, the teacher role, and what your role is online, and what your role is in face to face, and what the student's role is online, and what the student's role is in the face to face sessions. That's sort of the model. Um, to plan for the redesign of the, your unit. Um, in phase one of blended learning, this is before a face-to-face -face session. So now you've had your face-to-face -face session, you've discussed all of the introduction, and maybe for the next night, for the next one, you are giving an assignment online. And this assignment for uh, any class, math, science, humanities, Anything it can be the posing of a question in math and science. It would be 
uh, giving examples for them to solve. In um, humanities classes, it would be the essential question, which we've discussed at length in the previous screencast. You have, uh, it's either a pre-reading assignment, it could be just a reading assignment, it could be uh, followed by a quiz, an online quiz that they do in the learning, in Haiku. Um, it could be a discussion forum where you, again, you pose a question. You could possibly give an audio or a video presentation, which is a screencast. Um, you could follow that um, by a quiz or a writing or a survey or a discussion. And so all of these things are possible learning activities for you and for the students uh, for the first phase, which is before this is online and before the face-to-face -face, uh, session. Uh, so the, the tools and resources, I'm not going to go over these on the right, but this uh, presentation in the form of slides, PowerPoint slides, is available on the, on the site. And so you can take a look at it in more detail. But always you want to make sure that if you do a presentation online, you follow it or you coincide it with a quiz of some sort, to focus the attention of the students on what you're presenting in the screencast. So that's the first phase. The second phase is face-to-face. -face. So now, they come, after doing all this stuff online, in either that night or the next night, because you meet every other day, um, you debrief. And this debrief is... Um, were there any misconceptions? What did you think of this? Did uh, you find it hard? Especially at the beginning of the course where students are learning how to do this for the first time. Um, give examples from what they did online. You know, they bring, bring up the learning management system with your projector and look at it. Uh, look at the grading rubrics and how various things uh, could be graded. Um, Discuss effective writing and problem solving, which means if you're doing humanities, it would be a written response to some sort of question. If it's math or science, it's problem solving. And discuss good ways of doing this, because this is the first opportunity they may have had. If this is a future unit where they've already had experience doing this, then you can leave some of this out. Um, address issues related to students' misconceptions, so students can ask questions. Uh, you can, based on the pre-quiz, if you've given a presentation online, based on the pre-quiz associated with that presentation, a student can um, have misconceptions about what you were presenting in the screencast. Um, and then you have peer instruction, collaborative instruction. You go around and you work with individual students who you've identified as having misconceptions or difficulty in um, answering the questions from the pre-quiz or anything related um, to, the, to the first online activity. In phase three, this is you might call homework after the face-to-face -face session. And um, so here, this is another online activity. And I'm, I'm dividing blended learning into four phases, but we'll see at the end of this that any number, any combination of these phases is possible. Uh, so if it doesn't fit, if four phases don't fit into what you're doing, that's fine. You just, the, co the concept here is online, face-to-face, -face, and to blend those two together into a meaningful experience for the students. Um, so if... If you do do the third phase, which is after the initial face-to-face, -face, you do further reading, you give a problem set in math and science, um, you do um, discussion, another discussion, whereas in the first one they were looking, the first online activity was looking at your screencast. You may have followed it with a discussion, but maybe it was just the screencast and just the pre-quiz. 
So they haven't done a discussion yet. So in the third phase, you would do a discussion. Um, you would have them either do a discussion or an opinion or a research paper assignment related to what was done in the first two phases, the online phase initially and then the face-to-face -face one. Um, read a new document on the topic. You may have a new, a new document that illustrates the concept further to deepen understanding. And in the fourth phase, you review the online work, you give, you show examples, you may have an in-class assessment, a quiz in class, you may have a writing, an in-class writing assignment, um, you may begin the next topic, um, and any, any combination of these things. And so in four blocks, or f uh, really two face-to-face -face blocks and two online sessions, four phases but only two class sessions, you have um, covered a unit, possibly covered a unit. It may take longer. But if you, if you have, you can give an assessment during this last uh, phase, which is really only the second face-to-face -face session you're having. And variations of the four phases, this is face-to-face, -face, online, face-to-face, -face, and you're done. So there's no follow-up to the online. There's just three. You can do online face-to-face. -face. Uh, content is presented online. You can combine the presentation, your presentation, your reading assignment, your uh, watching a video, whatever you want to do online with a discussion online. And so this is a combination of sort of two things online. This is number two that I'm referring to right now. And in number two, um, the face-to-face -face session is then used for in-class assessment or writing. Uh, in third possibility, um, you can start with face-to-face -face and then online. And you can start a discussion and you can finish it um, online. And perhaps the following face-to-face, um, -face, which would go back to number one, where you would give an assessment um, or a sort of closure uh, for, the, for the topic. In number four, you have the full, um, you, you change it somewhat. So instead of starting online, you're starting face-to-face and you reverse the four phases. The content is given during the face-to-face, -face, followed by online discussion or homework, face-to-face -face review of discussion and homework, and the final online assignment. Um, and the online assignment can be an online quiz, can be a written assignment that they do in the Dropbox, can be uh, not necessarily a Dropbox assignment, but something they just, you can, uh, you can create an assignment where it's just text or they're writing and they, they write to answer uh, the question or to give an example of their writing for the topic. And so that is a sort of um, the general quick review of the four phases of blended learning and hopefully um, you can look at all the other resources that are on the website uh, the haiku site for this for this course, and um, get a clearer conception of uh, blended learning. Thank you.